All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. The name of the video is, uh, have you heard what happened to Johnny Depp? I don't know, but we're about to check it out now. <laughs> Johnny Depp's life has been anything but dull, especially after the Amber and Depp courtroom drama. Right. Needless to say, the man who's given us Captain Jack Sparrow, Edward Scissorhands, and so many epic characters has had a bit of a wild ride lately. Get ready for the scoop of the century. We are talking about Johnny's career and what's cooking on the horizon. And of course, what the gossip grapevine is saying about it all. So let's get down into the nitty gritty of Johnny Depp's post Amber and Depp era. The whole Johnny Depp and Amber Heard showdown kicked off as a trial about defamation. But trust me, it turned into a total cultural explosion. It became this messy right. debate on how we navigate gender relations in a post Me Too world, and it was all out there for the world to see in a live stream spectacle. And I think it was absolutely amazing that all this happened publicly. Uh, like I understand the concept of believing someone who's gone through something absolutely terrible, right? But then you're going to let these type of people slip through the cracks. So the concept of believing all doesn't make any sense and i'm glad that this was absolutely pointed out publicly even right. if you didn't catch a second of it you couldn't escape the drama wafting through your socials memes hashtags videos you name it people were so team depth that folks started wondering if it was all part of a master plan not too far back showing any sympathy for herd online was like throwing yourself into a lion's den of depth supporters They'd go on full rants, accusing, vilifying, and straight up insulting anyone who dared to feel a smidge of compassion for her during her <laughs> online showdown. But right. things have taken a turn. Lately, the wind of public opinion is blowing a bit more in her favor. Here's okay. the scoop. During and right after the trial, social media turned into a bit of a gossip battleground. It was like a group think party, and the loudest voices made it seem like everyone was on the same page, even though they hadn't really nailed down a case that convinced everyone. So, when documentaries like Channel 4's Depp v. Heard highlighted the differences in UK and US testimonies, there was this whole bunch of people who didn't think the matter was settled. Back during the US trial, folks were hesitant to defend Amber because of those supposed damning voicemails. But guess what? The deeper people dug into the original trial, the shadier Depp looked. So, the pro-Amber vibes didn't hit right away, but they've- Okay, okay, this is definitely news to me, so I'm getting- Let's been go. gaining steam thanks Let's to go. the plot twist in the story. Granted, it's not a complete 180 in support, but there's definitely a twist in the tale. Just last month, Depp got the rock star treatment at Cannes, where his latest flick, Jeanne Duberry, kicked off the fancy film festival. Now, hold your horses, because there's a plot twist. Even though he got a hero's welcome with a whopping seven-minute standing ovation, there was a bit of a storm brewing online. Hashtag Can You Not was trending, and it was all Can about folks having serious objections to Depp being the main event at such a big industry shindig. After Why? premiering his first film in three years, Gian Duberry, where he plays King Louis XV, Depp faced the press and casually mentioned he's got no further need for Hollywood. Talk about making an exit. The French film is directed by Mai Wen and features a French-speaking Depp. When asked if he felt boycotted, Depp didn't hold back, saying, did I feel boycotted by Hollywood? You'd have to not have a pulse to feel like, no, none of this is happening. It's a weird joke. Imagine being asked to resign from a film just because of words floating in the air. That's how he put it. He spilled, I don't feel boycotted by Hollywood because I don't think about Hollywood. I don't have much further need for Hollywood myself. I mean, that's that's absolutely respectful, though. I mean, listen, there's nothing wrong with what these guys are doing out there in, you know, in Hollywood, let's say, in terms of like the movies that they're making, etc. But the culture of Hollywood needs to absolutely go. Okay, the entire culture of California needs to be wiped off the map, right? I, we're we're, we're kind of sick of it now, guys, all right? But um, there's nothing wrong with what they're doing in terms of, uh, you know, acting and things like that. It's just a culture that becomes excessively toxic. Um, how can some of the richest people in the United States of America um, live in one singular state, right? But then yet the the overwhelming majority of homeless people in the United States of America also live in that same state. All right. Uh, we need to, whatever that is out there, guys, we need to fix that. <laughs> 
himself. Depp's not mincing words, making it clear that he's ready to step away from the Hollywood limelight. The Jean Dubarry press conference at Cannes was straight out of a circus. Picture this. It started fashionably late. My Wen and the cast are there, but no Depp. Suddenly, he bursts in 20 minutes later and steals the spotlight. Apparently, Johnny Depp had a bone to pick with the media. He declared that most of what's written about him is fantastically, horrifically written fiction. It's like being asked, okay. how are you doing? With the subtext screaming, God, I hate you. After some time spent trying to paint himself as the victim of cancel culture and hashtag me too grift, a journo asked him about the circulating criticism around him headlining can. He goes, imagine that they said to me, I cannot go to McDonald's for life because somewhere, if you got them all in one room, 39 people watched me eat a Big Mac on a loop. Who are they? Why do they care? Some species, a tower of mashed potatoes covered in light from a computer screen. He chuckled, I've had my 17th comeback apparently. I keep wondering about the word comeback. I didn't go anywhere. As a matter of fact, I live about 45 minutes away. Maybe people stopped calling out of whatever their fear was at the time, but I didn't go nowhere. At the Cannes Festival, some of the La Revisim Bro, that's fair. Meant crew decided to make a bold statement. They strutted in wearing t-shirts plastered with Heard's face for their screening. Talk about a power move. <laughs> now, here's where it gets spicy. The festival chief, Thierry Fremont, faced a ton of flack from the public and industry bigwigs for honoring Depp, but Fremont wasn't backing down. He hit back, telling the press, I don't know about the image of Johnny Depp in the U.S. To tell you the truth, in my life, I have only one rule. It's the freedom of thinking and the freedom of speech and acting within a legal framework. Talk about Yeah, bro, but California generally doesn't like the concept of freedom of speech, though. They don't. They You have to follow a very specific ideology to kind of be there or be respected there, right? And uh, luckily, this guy over here is like, ah, I like freedom of speech. I actually like it. About a can showdown, right? Let's take a beat to think about this. Maybe folks are starting to question who's really benefiting from this whole cancel culture narrative that celebs tend to throw around when they get called out for some sketchy stuff, even abuse. Now, Depp hasn't been canceled. Nope, quite the opposite. The public is cheering for him. The industry is giving him gold stars. And big brands like Dior and Rihanna's Savage X Fenty are handing him the spotlight. Crazy, right? After a stint of high budget flops, rumors about him slacking on set, and a bit of a dip in his on-screen charm, this trial seems to be the ultimate comeback, better than any A-list PR magic could pull off. Depp, once a colossal and super charismatic movie star, had the kind of magic that could turn any movie, even when based on a theme park ride, into a must-watch. His career spanned everything from serious indie gems to box office blockbusters. Now, as he got older, he sort of morphed into this cartoonish version of a rebel, channeling his inner gonzo here. Hunter S. Thompson. In the 2022 defamation trial, Depp argued that he lost jobs because of Heard's allegations. And guess what? Yeah. The verdict swung in Depp's favor, with Heard ordered to pay him a whopping $10 million in damages. Yep, you heard it right. The court sided with Depp, saying that Heard lied about him abusing her during their short-lived marriage. Heard was also awarded $2 million. Most notably, Depp got the boot from the Harry Potter spin-off franchise, Fantastic Beasts. But now he seems to be saying goodbye to studio projects and the blockbuster world. During the trial, there was some serious talk about whether Depp's reputation in the industry had taken a nosedive even before Heard's op-ed. In a video deposition... Yeah, I'm gonna probably say not, not that much. Trust me, when she started talking all that craziness, uh, it was basically that, because think about the time, the era that, that this all happened in. Uh, this was the, like peak me too, bro, right? So just... Any man could get it at that time. Uh, and if a woman said anything, no matter what, she knew that. That's why she did it. Right? Um, and this is why these examples need to kind of be public, at least. Right? Tracy Jacobs, a top talent agent repping Depp for 30 years until he gave her the boot in 2016, spilled the tea. She testified about his growing substance abuse and hinted that, in her last decade with him, Depp was kind of tarnishing his rep by constantly rolling up late to set. People were talking, she spilled. The question was out there about his behavior. Hollywood drama alert! So, here's the Hollywood tea from some insight. 
insiders. A big shot publicist and awards guru predicts a bit of a rocky ride for Depp. According to them, legit studios might not be too keen to hire him after all this drama. But Depp's like, who cares? They think he'll just roll with the money from those low-key video on demand projects and be right. cool with it. Now, a talent agent from a major agency has a different take. They reckon Depp's dangerous artistic image was already a thing. So maybe audiences will cut him some slack. They're bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Trust me, guys. He stole Johnny Depp. He is, in fact, still Johnny Depp. Right. Like, I get it. Oh, he comes late to set. All right. He, he stole Johnny Depp. That is, if just one studio takes a chance on him, even if it's for an indie flick or something outside the studio system, then bam, he's back in the game. But hold up, there's more. A development exec who's been in the trenches with Depp on a few projects thinks the actor's Hollywood comeback will be a slow burn. No quick return to Harry Potter or Pirates of the Caribbean, they say. The jury and the public seem to have Depp's back, making his situation less controversial compared to other celebs caught in the hashtag me Too accusations. After all, it did come out on top in the case, right? Let's dive into the insider scoop. There's a bit of a disagreement with Depp's former agent who hinted that substance abuse and emotional ups and downs might have already messed with Depp's projects. According to a development exec, though, that stuff didn't really stop Depp from delivering on set. It wasn't like a major industry problem, you know, like him ghosting the set for ages. Whatever those problems were, they didn't massively mess with his ability to rock big film performances. But, and there's always a but, the abuse accusations will still be a factor in whether Hollywood bigwigs want to hire him, the development exec admits. It's like a game of, do we want that headache? They figure he might end up in smaller, rum diary style flicks to get back on the map. Oh, and here's a kicker. Depp might not be raking in those mega salaries he used to. Hollywood seems to be using his rep damage as an excuse not to break the bank for him, but... I mean, bro, that's everybody right now, though. Like, none of these actors are making what they used to make at all. I mean, streaming platforms have absolutely, uh, you know, taken over. And if they're not being hired by, let's say, specifically Netflix or the studios that work directly with Netflix or any of these gigantic platforms, they're really not making as much. Just Disney, in fact, is not making as much as they used to. Um, you can blame that on DEI, though. But fear not. Depp's got other cash streams, like being the face of Dior's mm. Sauvage Cologne. And guess what? Dior stuck by him during the trial, and fans showed their love by grabbing that cologne. It's a win-win for Dior, yeah. according to... Yeah, this, right, this cologne right here? Smell that. ...to a luxury fashion mm. brand, Bigwig. They say, there's obviously a lot of articles out there saying that nobody has won, but clearly Johnny is the winner in our public opinion. Absolutely. Hollywood and fashion, where the drama never ends. During the trial, Depp flung some accusations at his ex, Heard. He claimed she messed with his career by writing a Washington Post op-ed backing the Violence Claim Against Women Act. Now, here's the twist. She didn't drop his name in the piece, but she talked about being a public figure representing domestic abuse and how her career took a hit after she named a powerful actor as her abuser. Depp spilled the beans during the trial, claiming Disney gave him the boot from Pirates 6 right after Hurd's op-ed. But Hurd's lawyer threw a curveball, pointing out that a Daily Mail article spilled the beans two months earlier. Depp, in court, argued, two years had gone by of constant worldwide talk about me being this wife beater, referring to Hurd's restraining order in 2016. He figured Disney was just playing it safe during the hashtag Me Too wave. Now, let's talk about Depp's- No, Disney specifically is trying to climb the, the ranks of DEI. That's it. That's that's what Disney is specifically doing, along with a lot of other mega corporations. Um, all they care about is fitting into that DEI bubble, getting that ranking super high. Talent agent. And unfortunately, you as a as, as a man um, with your exact aesthetic is you know, you're not going to really fit in too well. Jack Wigham. He spilled that getting Depp a studio film after the op-ed was a total nightmare. According to him, it was a death knell, catastrophic thing for Mr. Depp in the Hollywood community. And the drama doesn't stop there. In 2020, Depp bowed out of the Fantastic Beasts franchise after Warner Brothers asked him to step aside, but still cashed in his full salary for the upcoming third film. Why? Well, he lost a UK libel case against The Sun, which called him a wife-beater. Hollywood. Oh! 
always full of twists and turns. The trial's vibe and how it played out beyond the courtroom almost echoed a line from Heard's op-ed, I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. A seasoned movie producer breaks it down like this. In a way, what Heard said in the op-ed came true at the trial. She felt the wrath of Depp's fans. He had a cheerleading squad of international proportions. And guess who joined the cheer squad? Men's rights activists and even the U.S. House Judiciary Committee Republicans. Yep, you heard it right. Right after the verdict dropped, the GOP's House Judiciary tweeted a Pirates of the Caribbean gif from their official account, like a virtual high five for Depp's win. The aftermath of the Depp heard verdict. Right, congratulate that win, seriously. Verdict made huge waves. Women in Film, a big advocacy group in the entertainment biz, tweeted their deep concerns, saying, We are deeply concerned the Depp heard decision will set precedent, exacerbating barriers victims face in coming forward. Absolutely, it will, unfortunately. Now, listen, don't get me wrong here. Um, women absolutely go through things, right? But there needs to be something set up specifically um, for, the, for the ones who do not tell the truth, okay? They, they should be punished for that. All right. they, they, there's no slap on the wrist. There's, there should be no, um, you know, less time in jail than everyone else. We, we could fight for things. Fight, let's fight for equality, but actual, literally, literal equality, not um, fight for things that don't benefit you. Well, only things that benefit you. Right. That's that's not a that's not a really that's not an amazing thing, guys. All right. Um, but, you know, listen, let's, let's go. And the entertainment biz tweeted their deep concerns, saying, We are deeply concerned the Depp Heard decision will set precedent, exacerbating barriers victims face in coming forward. They're worried this trial and its reception might show a backward trend like retaliation against those who speak out about violence or abuse by powerful figures. But it doesn't stop there. A psychologist spilled to Rolling Stone that she's getting calls from hundreds of survivors wanting to back out of court cases against abusers or take back public statements. An executive from a major studio, the ones who specialize in worldwide movie releases, sees Depp's courtroom win as a bit of a pyrrhic victory. You know, like winning the battle but losing the war? They spill, there's ostensibly a winner, but is there really? In the industry, they've both now aired such soiled laundry that it will be difficult, for a while anyway, to place them in something that intends to invite a wide audience. But wait, there's more! This exec thinks the verdict might have some dark political consequences too. Brace yourself. They say, for the right wing, we've given them further ammunition about the excesses and out-of-touchness of Hollywood and its denizens. Hold on, folks, because here's some advice for Depp. A seasoned movie producer has a tip. As Tempting as it might be for Depp to embrace his status as a leader of the anti Me Too movement, he should resist. They're saying. Don't resist that, bro. Because again, listen, there's nothing wrong with. Um, if you have been absolutely harassed by your employer, uh, you should do something about that. I'm sure we are all in agreement, right? Uh, but when there are people who are absolutely not telling the truth, and then trying to destroy your name because they know they're taking advantage of a system that's already set in place, right? Um, yeah, bro, she should have gotten a little bit more than what she got. He should play it cool, represent himself as an actor making a comeback from a nah. rocky patch, steering no. clear of any narrative that he beat hashtag me too. In Hollywood, no. crafting the right narrative is just as crucial as the script itself. Hurt's reputation, on the other hand, took a hit after the intense trial. When Johnny Depp and Amber Heard crossed paths and entered into marriage, Depp was a familiar face to the American public well-established in the entertainment industry. On the other hand, Amber Heard was relatively unknown at the time, making her introduction to the public alongside Depp during their high-profile relationship and subsequent legal battles. While it's been over a decade since a major success, Depp's acclaimed past performances still contribute to his strong public profile. In response to the trial's outcome, Heard expressed disappointment, attributing Depp's victory to his significant influence and power. I'm Come heartbroken on. that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband, she said. I'm even more mm. disappointed with what this verdict means for other women. It is a setback. It sets back the clock to a time when women who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly shamed and humiliated. It oh, bro, she said all the right things. Sets back the idea that violence against women is to be taken seriously. If you like... Uh, it, it, it is to be taken... 
bro, putting your hands on anyone, it's, it should be taken seriously. The video, smash that like button. And while you're at it, drop a comment down below. Are you Team Depp, Team Amber, or just Team Here for the Drama? Spill it and let's get this comment <laughs> right. section buzzing. That's and it. hey, if you haven't joined our squad yet, now's the time. All right, guys, so yeah, yeah. Am I here for the drama? Oh, yeah, the drama's cool. It's interesting to encounter. None of my business, really, outside looking in. I'm an observer, right? Um, it, I was never Team Amber Heard. That was not a thing, okay? Um, but with the more more of the evidence that came out, I was just like, oh, okay. So, so yeah, so she did not tell the truth at all, at all, right? There's no truth in her here. Um, hence the reason why he won. Um yeah, should he now not accept his win, right? Should he not be like, hey, look, there are people who don't tell the truth, okay? Who knows? It may be less, right? It may be less people that are telling the truth than are, are telling the truth, right? Um, but I still think he, he deserved that win, and uh, I'm glad he did. And again, it points out that there are flaws here, right? And there's nothing wrong with pointing out the facts that humans... Do not, I seriously do not care, male or female. Uh, humans have the ability to, to not tell the truth at times, all right? And take advantage of situations at times. And I think Amber Heard absolutely took advantage of a movement that was growing, um, you know, she did. And then of course, everyone jumped behind her because you have to believe every single person, right? That uh, is a woman. Um, did it make it of course of course she made it look terrible bro all right <laughs> but i do still think that johnny depp should enjoy his win all right enjoy the win should he brag about the win absolutely <laughs> god guys uh but all right listen you guys all have an absolutely amazing day enjoy your day thoroughly Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.